Your Honor, I object. You know, I've always wanted to do that. I've always wanted to stand in a court of law and say, Your Honor, I object. And since I'm not an attorney, I've never had the privilege, never had the opportunity to do that before. But you know what? I have had a, a pretty cool opportunity. It was a very satisfying experience that, that I once had. Yes, I was in court, and uh, um, I was dressed in a coat and tie, which I think impressed the judge. He wasn't really a judge. He was a magistrate of sorts. It, it was traffic court. And uh, I was standing there, and uh, I, I have an attorney. We have a couple of attorneys in the church, and I'm sitting in the pews, you know, waiting for my turn to come up, and I'm texting my friend, the attorney. And uh, she is giving me guidance and giving me advice and telling me what to do. And she said, if this happens and this happens, then you make a motion to dismiss. All right, so I, I got up there, and this happened and that happened. And I said, Your Honor, I make a motion to dismiss. To which he sat there for a second, and he said, You don't make any kind of motion. You're not an attorney. He, he, he chided me, he chewed me out, and I felt like, uh-oh, now I'm in trouble. And then he, then he stopped, and he sat there for a moment, he looked around, he said, case dismissed. <laughs> and I looked at him, I said, thank you, Your Honor, and I walked out the door. You know, we are in the book of Habakkuk, right? And last week we said that the name Habakkuk means to embrace. It means to cling to. It means to wrestle with God. And Habakkuk was wrestling with God. And the three chapters of Habakkuk, they're written in very judicial kind of language. All right, because Habakkuk had an objection. He was objecting to God. I mean, let's just, a, a quick review from last week. Okay, we know little about Habakkuk. What we do know is that he was the eighth of 12 minor prophets. That he simply wrote three chapters. A minor prophet, the difference between a minor, minor prophet and a major prophet is simply the amount that they wrote. Isaiah, a major prophet, wrote 66 chapters. Habakkuk only wrote three. We know that uh, Habakkuk was a temple musician. We know that he came from the tribe of Levi, so he was of the priestly class, and he was a prophet. Now, a prophet was God's spokesperson. God would give a message to the prophet, and then the prophet would go out to the people and say, thus says the Lord. And so the prophet would share God's message with the people. And we know that the book of Habakkuk was written somewhere around 600 B.C. Now, see, the people of Israel, they were corrupt, they were becoming more and more wicked. And so God decided, I am going to discipline my people because they're evil and, and they're becoming more and more evil, more and more corrupt. Now, Habakkuk could not deny God. I mean, you could not disagree with him, right? Habakkuk basically said, well, God, you're right. I mean, the people of Israel, they are corrupt. They're going down the wrong path. God, I agree with you. But then all of a sudden, God gave this shocking twist, okay, to which Habakkuk just could not take. God said, look at the nations and watch and be utterly amazed. The Hebrew word for amazed is tamah, which means knocked off your feet kind of thing. You're going to be in shock. You're going to be standing in awe. For the Lord said, for I am going to do something in your days that you would not believe even if you were told. I am raising up the Babylonians, that ruthless and impetuous people. They are a feared and dreaded people. They are a law to themselves, and they promote their own honor. To which Habakkuk said, what are you talking about, God? No, 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 no. You can't raise up the Babylonians. See, when you even heard that word, Babylonians, I mean, they were struck with fear. God, you're right. Our people, they're wrong. Our people are corrupt, and they're acting in very evil ways. But God, I mean, the Babylonians, they're far worse than we are. And so basically, Habakkuk says to God, God, I object. I object to what you are about to do, God. God, I worship you, and I believe in you, and I honor you. But God, this has got to go to trial, because what you're about to do is extremely unfair. God, what you are about to do is not right. What you're about to do, God, is not just. Maybe that's how you feel right now. Maybe you're going through a difficult season of life and you don't understand what's going on. You don't understand why it's going on. All you know is that you're hurting and you're afraid and you've got all of this discomfort, all of this anxiety, all of this uneasiness about you. And you say, God, I don't understand what's going on and I don't like it, God. This is unfair. After all, God, I'm following you. I'm one of your believers. 
I'm trying to live love. I'm trying to live for you. Why am I experiencing this, God? This is just not fair. 